This is a free lesson from my course Workflow of Modern Web Design from Sketching to Style Guides. Whenever you design something, it is really important that you plan your design with your grids and guides and your modular grid very carefully. Now in web design, most common sizes when you start for a desktop design, they are going to be 1280 pixels. So today I am going to show you the online tools that can create grids and guides with your uh, grid system that is uh, used by developers a lot, which is Bootstrap and other grid systems. Uh, for desktop size, we are going to see what grid tools I use normally. There are four tools I'm going to show you in this lesson. Okay, so one is this grid.guide and uh, the size we are going to use is this 1280 and 12 columns and outer gutter ratio is basically its margin. So if you want to get some margin outside, you can see it calculated that margin is not possible. If you go to 1.0, there is some margin. You can see in this red, uh, pinkish, peachy area and yellow is this basically the our column size. Okay. So you can see column width is 98, gutter width is 8, but we need something more, maybe 20. Pixels gutter width is good or maybe if you are designing for some fashion website, you might need very wide spaces, then you might need this 32 or 44 gutter space. Now, uh, normally I think I would go with these two, uh, 32 or 20 pixels. I think these are more than enough. 8 pixel is a bit smaller. Okay, so also you can shift to 1.5. You can see over if I want to shift to 1.5. It is showing me few options like four gutter with four, 10, 16, 22. Now the cool thing is that we can download this PNG file and it is going to be, you can see over here, this is a PNG file and it's a pattern. You can easily import it in Photoshop. Let me create a new file, new artboard, 1280 width. 2400 height and I am going to use uh, artboard check this and just create this okay so we have our artboard over here let's drag this guide and paste it over here we are going to size it like that and you can see this is a great representation of your grids and guides so we have our horizontal grid system setup uh, column sorry columnar grid system setup and uh, you can see we have these margins and all these everything set up. So this is I, how I create the guides instantly rather than creating them with these uh, new guide layout. Okay. So uh, this is better because I then lock them so they doesn't move around. Okay. Now other tools. Okay. One other which is very similar is this one. I used it a lot of time. And uh, the cool thing is that you can use any grid, like uh, any size, like if I am going to design for um, tablet, I am going to use 768 and gutter width, maybe I can reduce the gutter, gutter width or maybe keep it same, maybe 28. And now I am going to change the number of columns to 8. Okay. So let's remove the margins. Okay, so this is how you create your grid systems. Okay, so make sure you are going to create, we are going to create three different grids uh, and the sizes I am using is 1280. Okay, so you can also use 20 pixels or maybe 10 pixels over here and 12 over here like this. Uh, let's change the size. Okay, so if I use 24 pixels gutter and 10 pixel uh, margin width, you can see this turns to green rather than red. Okay, so we are using full 1280 pixels. So make sure whenever you try to create a grid, it is using the full width. Uh, if you go to this tool, this is automatically doing all the calculations. So we don't worry about it. Uh, you can also leave it zero. You can see if we leave it zero, we have 16 and 28. So you can also use this one. This PNG is great. 28 width is also very awesome. It is closer to 30 and good spacing. We can also use this 16 one. So any of these two, you can choose. These two are great. Okay, now let's move to this 
gridulator tool it is also the same the cool thing about it is if you just uh, need two in inputs overall width and columns so if you enter these it is going to calculate the whole combinations for yourself like if you set the gutter width to uh, 4 you can have 12 columns with 103 pixel width and it can also create png files let's uh, use this one see what it is going to and how it is going to look like okay so it looked like this okay it is also very good tool to create columns and uh, i think it's the name is very cool 12 columns 70 width and 40 gutter a uh, really well uh, laid out tool i really liked how it is it has named it also this one these two tools are awesome now the last tool i'm going to show you is this modular grid.org and uh, it has some weird calculation because you have to do the whole calculation yourself so i insist you that you use it with some other tool like uh, this one okay or this one so i know that if i set the column width to 81 and gutter width to 28 i i can easily have 12 columns so in this i am going to use my baseline which is 8 pixels so i told you about 8 pixel grid system vertical rhythm so we are using 8 point grid system or 8 point design framework which is used by google design team and uh, we are going to generate our this modular design according to this so if you don't know what modular design is you need to see my typography course uh, just a brief introduction that we are going to divide our design into different modules you can see over here if i change the size to six you can see this white line is basically separating our whole module so you can use your module heights and something like that okay so now i am using 12 columns this is basically our vertical columns like that these modules are basically vertical rhythm so they are being used for vertical rhythm and these are our columns so our base is basically 8 pixels you can also set to 16 if you want you can see this is how it is going to change the design you can also um, go for a multiple of 8 so if you go to 32 or 48 it is going to show something like this okay so it helps our design to uh, easily align things and how to space out different elements you can use these uh, white areas these white lines horizontal lines to space out different areas and sections okay so now the cool thing about this tool is that you can download a photoshop pattern and you can quickly apply it in your photoshop document so let me create a new document i'm going to go to new and i have saved a template just to quickly create this 1280 double click and we have this we have this layer one i'm going to alt option delete option delete to quickly fill it with white color and now i'm going to double click this layer and blending options i'm going to go to pattern and i have this pattern which is okay so 108 by 40 pixels okay so if i go to this you can see there are more patterns like okay so now you can see i have used this one and it is looking really cool i think the column width says 28 and gutter width is 28 and uh, now we have used this okay so if you want something some space around your canvas then for artboards you are going to go to this artboard tool okay and click this artboard and change its width to 1400 okay and we are going to align this layer one in the middle like this okay so you can see this is how i get my uh, grid setup okay so if you want to use your grids and modular grid uh, there are other ways you can also use a pattern create a pattern with this these lines of eight pixels and uh, set up in photoshop and you can apply that but if i have just one layer to set up all my columns and my vertical rhythm and my vertical grids and horizontal grids then i think this is the best tool which is this one 
modular grid dot wargy it is it can create your modular grid now sometimes when i design i don't use this uh, 8 pixel grid in the front so i am uh, you know i just place keep on placing things uh, with just the columns for the fine adjustments you are going to leave your design at the end okay so now i have told you how i am going to set up my grid vertical and horizontal grid and the four tools you can use to set up your grids these are really cool for this for uh, this tool you can see over here let me show you that you can create also a transparent file a png file a png file and also a script so if you want to run a script that's up to you uh, i normally use this png file so if i click here you can see it is going to give me a grid and the problem with this grid is that it doesn't show me any numbers okay so it is not showing me that how much uh, column width or whatever it has used so make sure you name it properly so if i go to this uh, 24 pixel gutter and 10 pixel margin okay so i am going to ba go back to photoshop okay so name your layer 1280 and uh, 24 pixel 24 gutter and uh, what was 10 pixel margin 10 margin so your developer knows that what settings have you used for your uh, building your grid system you should always tell them that you are using these settings okay so this is how let's align it in the middle like this so this is how this grid is layout if you want to use this one i or normally do is what i do is that i overlay this with a gray color so and also i try to make it a bit like this so let's hide this one okay so this like this and i'm going to what i do is normally i drag it like that and make it the height of the whole document okay so then we are going to lock it and we are going to get them both grouped into grids folder or group okay so we have this grids setup and uh, this is how you are going to set up your grids and columns and everything to start designing your uh, web layout If you want to learn a pro level process of responsive web design using design frameworks like Atomic Design and 8 point grid system and if you want to learn about wireframing how to gather project information ideation techniques mood boards style guides and prototyping all these advanced web design topics then you should take this course discount coupon link for this course is in the description of this video get this course now for only dollar 10 okay and don't miss this opportunity